and welcome to my channel i'm super excited about today's tutorial it's all about creating an adorable shirt with side pockets for the little ones the first thing we are going to do is to select a vibrant fabric that the child will love and these are the measurements for a six years old the short length is 13 inches the crush is 7.5 the hip circumference is 25 inches i'll divide that by four and it will give me 6.25 the waist circumference is 23 inches no need the waist now to know the amount of fabric to fold i'll round up this divided hip circumference to 10 inches so that i would have enough fabric for the crush curve and the same allowance this is perfect now the next thing is to measure 0.5 at the top which will serve as my waistline then one inch by the side which will be my starting line for the side seam now the next thing is to measure the short length which is in this case is 13 inches so now from this line i'll measure 13 inches down And add 2 inches for the M allowance. That will make it 15 inches. So I'll measure 15 inches down. And I'll connect it with my straight ruler. Now from the waistline, I'll measure 7 and a half downward for the crush for the crush length. And I'll connect as well. Then I'll use my hip circumference, which is 25 divided by 4, which is 6.25. I'll add 0.25 as is. That will make it 6.5 inches. So on my crush line, I'll mark 6.5. And on my waistline, I'll mark six and a half as well. Now, from this six and a half on my crush length, I'll go out by two inches. Then I'll connect the six and a half on the crush to the six and a half on the waistline. Now, this is my crush curve, and I'm going to curve it this way. okay so that's my crush curve now from my m line i'll measure another six and a half so i can use my curve ruler to connect it from the crush curve to the m line okay so now i'm going to i'm done measuring i'll add half an inch all through my measurements sometimes it can be very challenging marking colorful fabrics so i hope you can see this i'm trying to make it visible now the next thing i'm going to do is to take in half an inch from the waistline okay so i'll make a curve from the waistline then stop at the hip at the crush length so I'm giving it this I'm giving it this half an inch to give it a shape so that it won't just look like a box. Although I'm going to use an elastic for it as a gather. So I just want it to have a good shape. And here I'm going to add half an inch for the same allowance. This is the waist, this is the crush, and this is the short length. From here to this place is the waist circumference. From here to this place is the crush, and from here to this place is the M length. So now I'm going to cut the front now. Okay, yeah, I'll come out a little bit on the M line so that I won't have a shortage of fabric when I'm sewing. So this is the front. The next one is to cut the back using the front pieces. Okay, arrange your fabric well. 
now i'm placing the front on a folded fabric just just making sure that there's enough fabric by the right and the left side now from the crush length i'll come down by half an inch then i'll mark one and a half from there this will serve as a back crush extension okay now from this waistline i'll measure one and a half inward then i'll extend the i'll raise the back length with one and a half as well i hope you understand okay now so what was the measurement from this waist it's six inches now because i took in half an inch okay so i'm going to measure the same measurements and rule it diagonally from here down to the edge i'll connect the back waist to the crush line putting in mind where my curve is okay so let me measure it it's actually one and a half inches so from there i'm going to make my curve all right so that is it one and a half then i can create my crush curve from there okay then i'll rule a slant <coughs> line to connect my waist to my crush curve okay okay perfect i will align the side seams to cut the m line first now i'll pull it forward to match the crush curves and then cut then again i will align the size seam to and cut now i'll cut the waist to the crush curve adding half an inch to it that's it for the back pieces now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut the pockets okay so for the pockets i'm measuring five inches wide and eight inches long I've cut out four pieces for the pocket with the measurements. Now these four pieces, I want it to take the shape of the knicker, so I'm going to be trimming it out. So I'm going to cut the S's out. Now the next thing is, I'm going to use my curve ruler to make a curve on the pocket pieces. So now I'm cutting it from here. this is one two three four so these are the four pieces so now by the time i want to put the pockets on the front pieces okay so so i'll be putting two pieces of pockets that is facing each other okay so i'll measure five inches for pocket hole and then from here i'll measure one inch i'll pin it down And then I will connect it with my straight ruler and cut. Okay, so this one will serve as the inner pocket. Next is the band. I'll be using the hip measurement for it, which is 25 inches divided by 2. That's 12 and a half. Then I'll add 1.5 allowance to it that will give me a total of 14. now for the band width i'll be making it five inches by the time i fold it into two 
that will give me 2.5 and I'll use the 0.5 as the same allowance and my band area will be 2 inches. My band is 2 inches so I'll be cutting 1.5 from the front and back pieces of the shorts half an inch as the same allowance. The next one is the sewing. So I've gone ahead to sew the one side of the pocket and I've also top stitch it. Now I'm going to take the other side of the pieces and place it directly on it and I'm going to sew only this side to this way. So this is it. I've sewed it to it. The shirt. If I flip it here now, this is how it is. This is how it's going to be. So I'll give it a good press now. Then I'll sew the upper part to it and also the tight seam. Okay, here we are. This is the pocket. I've done the other side of it as well. I'll pick the right fabric facing the other right fabric. I'll match it together and sew from this waist to the crush curve using half an inch for the seam allowance. I'll go and do that now. I'll apply the same thing to the back of the shorts as well. So I'll sew from here to the crush curve. Okay, I've gone ahead to sew the back of the shorts. So this is how it is once it is opened. Then I'll place the front one to the back side as well and sew the two edges. Okay, this is it. After sewing the two edges, the next thing is to add the band. Okay, so here is a trick. So sewing the band, paste the two uh, right sides to each other, then sew through with half an inch seam allowance. As you can see, I made a little stitch here and I skipped to this side and sew the remaining one through. Okay, so by the time I press it open and top stitch on top of it, so I'll be leaving a space. By the time I fold my fabric, the band into two, I'll be having an open space to fix my elastic band. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pin the elastic band to the shorts all through. So you have to make sure that the opening is facing inside of the shorts. So this opening side is the one facing the center back. I'm, and I'm going to stitch around it. So by the time I flip it open, I have a normal stitch here and the center back is well aligned. So I've gone ahead to sew it. So this is it. This is the center back and this is our opening and I'm going to interlock all the rough edges. Okay. And all the sides too. After we pin, the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that I fold in the M using the two inches allowance okay so this is it i've whipped all the rough edges and as you can see this is my opening i've gone ahead to sew all the m okay now this is where we make use of the waist measurement the elastic i'll measure 20 inches and add extra one inch for the allowance. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. I'll use a safety pin to slot in my elastic to the shorts from the hole. Once I flip it to the other side, then I can stitch it. okay this is the finished look so this is it i've top stitch on the band this is the pockets this is the emming okay it's so beautiful honestly so thank you for watching have a beautiful day don't forget to subscribe 
like and comment if you have any question bye